In today's video, I am going to solve a problem from functions of complex variables. See here, I have to find the analytic function. When the imaginary part is given as v is equal to e power x times of x sin pi plus y cos y. See here, what is given? The imaginary part v is given. So, v is equal to, this is e power x times of, this is x sin y plus this is y cos y. Now, I have to make an integration with respect to x. So, using with respect to x, so this will be the first function and this will be the second function, uv rule. So, we have to make a derivative that is dou v by, this is dou x. So, this is v. Dou v by dou x is equal to first for e power x, the derivative is e power x. I am le leaving v here. That is x sin y plus this is y cos y. And for the second time, I am leaving e power x and I have to make a derivative with respect to x. And here is the only x here. For x, it is 1. So, this will be 1 into this is sin y. So, dou v by dou x here is, if I take e power x common, then this will be x sin y plus this is y cos y plus again this is sin y. So, this is equation number 1. So, this value is nothing but equation number a or 1. And the next one again what is v? So, v is given as, see here, v is given as, this is e power x times of, this is x sin y plus y cos y. Now, I will make a derivative with respect to y. So, this is dou v by dou y. Dou v by dou y is equal to, so, there is no need of uv rule, strictly, e power x it is a multiple. So, this is sin v. So, if I make a derivative, this will be cos v. And this is uv rule. So, this is equation 1 and this is equation. So, this is uv rule. So, this is u and this is v. So, for first function, this is 1. I am leaving cos y. And again, I am leaving y. And for this, it is minus sin y. And see here, dou v by dou y is equal to, this is e power x times of, this is x cos y plus this is cos y and this is minus y sin y and this is equation number b. And now I am going to find out the analytic function using Milne's thompson method. According to the Milne's thompson method, this is according to Milne's thompson method, See, we have f of z is equal to, see f of z is equal to, this is u plus iv. If I make a derivative with respect to x, f dash of z is equal to, this is dou u by dou x plus i times of, this is dou v by, again dou x. Now, I have v value, so I have to transform this u. And so, I am using the CR equations according to the CR. E so, according to the CR equations, dou u by dou x is equal to, this is dou v by dou y and again dou u by dou y is equal to minus dou v by dou x. So, these are the CR equations. Now, I need v in, in place of u. So, dou u in place of dou u by dou x, I am going to write dou v by dou y. So, this value will become f dash of z is equal to, see here f dash of z is equal to in place of dou u by dou x, I am writing dou v by dou y plus i times of dou v by dou x as I have two values from equation, from equation a and b. So, from equation a and b, from equations a and b, now I am going to substitute these two values from equation a and b and I am going to find out the analytic function. See here f dash of uh, z is equal to f dash of z is equal to this is dou v by dou y plus i times of dou v by dou x. So what is dou v by dou y? So here it is the value of dou v by dou x. So, this is f dash of z is equal to dou v by dou y value is nothing but e power x times of this is x cos y plus cos y minus y sin y. 
less i times of what is rho v by rho x from equation a so this is equation a rho v by rho x is equal to this is e power x times of e power x times of this is x sin y plus this is y cos y plus this is sin y now according to the milne thompson method i have to replace see here replace replace x by z and y by 0 so in place of x i will substitute z and in place of uh, y as 0 then f dash of z is equal to this is e power z times of this is x cos 0 plus this is cos 0 minus 0 plus i times of this is e power z this is z sine 0 plus y this is 0 and sin 0 this is again 0 and what remains f dash of z is equal to this is e power z so in place of x i have to write z so this value will be z plus cos 0 is 1 here this is 0 and this is 0 0 0 and everything is 0 here only this value remains and see now i am going to integrate both sides so f dash of z is equal to e power z into this is z plus 1 now if i integrate on both sides that is integral dz so this is integral z, dz and now i have a formula that integral e power x into f of x plus f dash of x into dx is nothing but e power x into f of x plus c see here so this is the formula and i am using this formula so this is e power x times of if it is f of z the derivative for this is f dash of z 1 is here so i can write in terms of e power x into f of z so this value will become now integration and derivative got cancelled and f of z value is equal to e power z into z plus c and this is our analytic function see here what is given here z as you know that x is equal to see here as you know that z is equal to this is x plus i y so if i substitute the same thing here then our f of z value will become f of z is equal to this is e power x plus i y into this is x plus i y so f of z value is equal to it can be written as e power x into e power i y into this is x plus i y so f of z is equal to see here this is e power x this is e power x and this can be written as cos y plus i sin y into this is x plus i y so f of z value is equal to this is e power x x times of if i multiply this will be x cos y if i multiply with this this will be i into y cos y if i multiply this is i x sin y i into i this is minus y sin y so we have real parts and imaginary parts see here the real part without i is this one and we have i here so this is real part and the imaginary part with respect with i multiples of i is this one so f of z can be written as this is e power z into this is x cos y minus y sin y plus e power x times of i if i take i common this will be y cos y plus this is x sin y so as you know that f of z is equal to so we have f of z is equal to u plus i v so we have u value as so u is equal to e power x into this is x cos y minus y sin y and the imaginary part is equal to this is e power x times of this is y cos y plus this is x sin y so this is u this is v and whereas so this value is the analytic function that is z into e power z and this is how we have to solve and this is also so simple so if the imaginary part is given first we have to make a derivative with respect to x and mention this as equation 1 or a and again we have to make a derivative with respect to y and again mention this value as 2 or b and according to the billnees thompson method f of z is equal to u plus i v if i make our derivative with respect to x throughout the equation and using cr equation i have changed this dou u by dou x as dou v by dou y 
and again I have two values from A and B. If I substitute the two values and replace x by z and y by 0 and this is how we have to solve and this is how we have to um, find out the analytic function after finding still I can substitute z is equal to x plus y by can and I can split the real part and the imaginary part. The real part will be u and the imaginary part will be v and this is how we have to solve. I hope you understand and if you understand please share this knowledge with your friends, pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel and have a look at my next video too. It will be very very useful for your preparation. Thank you so much.